here's the thing. I am... I was not looking into this game at all. Kind of come on a surprise to me. But it's such a extremely cool looking game. Um, it's definitely a joystick game. Or a controller game, I believe. I don't know. Um, but Biomutant and it's the... I'm very intrigued by it. Um, and it kind of caught me by surprise. I've watched a few demos, but I don't want to watch too much. I don't want to spoil it kind of thing. Um, Thursday, Thursday, I'm Outriders is coming and I'm, I'm pretty excited to play that game. Well, so I'll have like four weeks of Outriders and this game will come up. And I, and I really don't, I try not to play single player game too much because I, I have a, a great group of people that I play with and enjoy their company and enjoy hanging out and playing with them. But I work, I work 40 hours a week at a regular job. By the time I get time to sit down and play the game, I only got maybe a couple hours, three at the most, you know, and so, but I'm, I figured that the next, the next four weeks I'm going to play the Outriders as much as I can and then when this game comes out I'll, I'll probably play this at my least. The other reason why I'm making this video is I recently upgraded our internet to the Starlink and I've, I've watched all the reviews and all the different people um, Adventures with Kramer been huge in my decision making with getting it um when we went from DSL, which is only 15 megabytes per second download and 0.6 upload, um, to first day out of the back, out of the box, we were 160 megapixels down and 50 up. And we didn't even, we have the same latency. So, and we've been testing it since Tuesday, last Tuesday, March 12th, I guess it was, I actually know. It was supposed to come to the 12th on a Friday and it actually didn't come to the phone Tuesday. But we've been playing it since Tuesday. It's be a week tomorrow and it's been just unbelievable change for us be able to download a you know 60 gig game in in less than an hour it would take us three days before to do it so um but we've been testing it uh world of tanks plays it very well um the division has plenty of little tweaks in its own game so it's hard to tell if that's the dishes you know having any any dead spots um but but so far every game we've played you you may in an hour you may have like a i'll call it a lag spike for like seconds you know um but but it's just been it's been such a such an improvement um the one game i was extremely excited about was Corbunk. I haven't heard anything about it. I don't know when it's coming. Um, hear all these different things about it, but I stumbled upon this game, and I like crafting. I don't. I don't like games that you gotta spend a ton of time like finding resources. I never get into Far Cry games. I just trying to get the leather and all that stuff. Just kind of. I don't say stressful, but just it wasn't something I was into. So, um, but, but I, I stumbled upon this game. I, I started watching it and I'm like, it, it's, the visuals are so cool. Um, the storyline is pretty cool. Um, and the narration, I mean, it, it's like a Winnie the Pooh narrator. And that's just, that to me, that was just awesome. 
So, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm trying not to watch too much of things on this game because I really want to be surprised when I play it. Um, our Starlink is actually capable of streaming. So I'm kind of on the fence about maybe picking this game to play a couple nights and, and maybe maybe start doing some streaming if I can. Um, you know, I don't have big fancy fancy capture pages and all that stuff. I'm kind of new to this. Uh, my son's kind of mastering it. Uh, his channel is incoming. Uh, incoming, actually. And uh, he's got some pretty cool things and I'm going to maybe reach out to him to help me with them. Um, but I just... I just think this game is, is really, really cool and I'm really looking... Like I said, Outriders comes first. That's here on Thursday. I'm excited to play that, but this this game is. I don't think it's getting the hype that it should, but but I'm very excited about it, and I and I really hope it's. I don't know. It just it looks like a fascinating game and, and a and a fun game, you know. And just I'm excited to see what the world's all about. I like. I like games that you can kind of just wander around and find things and I always wish that they would reward people that really dug through the nooks and crannies of games you know and have like a chest somewhere that that they wouldn't expect somebody to find it and the downfall with that is when somebody does find it they make a video about it so it kind of gives it away but but it'd be cool if it was like a random you know where it may be there for you it may not but but I'm pretty excited to see the the combat. Uh, the graphics amaze me. Just I'm really, I don't know. I'm just really taken by the cool graphics, fur, the all that stuff. I'm really, I'm looking forward to it. I think I think YouTube will be extremely saturated with the game when it comes out. And I'm sure it'll be on. You'll have it on Twitch. Um, if I do stream it, I will most likely stream it here on YouTube. I don't. I don't want to try to spread myself too thin, you know. Um, but, but I, I just this game. It just looks really cool. I, I kind of wish it was a multiplayer game. But, because I think it'd be cool to to watch someone else go through the journey as well. Um. The character you know I, I i read somewhere that originally they had it so that as you play through your character would would morph and kind of change the appearance and it's like well you know if you spend a lot of time creating your character you now you don't really want it to just change on its own but but if that's part of the game that you know that's cool um but I don't know, the, the combat seems to change a lot. You know, it, there's so many games, you know, like uh, Godfall. Great game for 25 hours. And once you get past the 25 hours, it does have a little bit of repeatability, but it's still it's still a fun game. Um, played... I can't think of the other game I was playing. Um, it was really, really cool. Oh, Phoenix. Um, from Ubisoft, and I was loving that game. But the puzzles... Puzzles just kind of got me to where I I felt like they took away from the game, you know, to get Zeus's thing. So I'm really hoping that... I never really finished it. So... I, I don't know, I just, I kind of lost interest. And as I said, I mean, this game, this game, it also took me by surprise. Uh, a friend of mine had told me about it. I looked it up. My, f my first initial thing was, you know, I don't know. I, I played Destiny, but I kind of get a little Destiny 2, but 
I just didn't really get into it too much, so I was kind of afraid it'd be the same as this one. Remnant of the Ashes was the same way. You know, it was pretty cool, but kind of died out on me for some reason. Then this game, when I first watched it, I was a lot of blood, you know, a lot of flying around. I talked about this in one of my other videos. Like, you know, what are the what are they hiding because of it? You know what I mean? And then the demo came out, and I don't know. I had like five minutes into the video. I'm like, this is just, this is just so cool and so much fun. And that's that's the biggest thing. Fun. That's what video games should be. You know, it, I understand it hard, challenging, all that stuff, but it'll get there. I, I really believe it will. Um, the world tiers, they kind of. I look at them as efficiency because like my first character I got to level 5 or level 7 I guess it was and then world tier 3 and then my second character I was like world tier 5 before I even got past level 3 but I think it's because of that you know because you're more aggressive when you play it again build your world tiers up quicker said I got 40, 40 hours into it no legendaries that's fine I don't I don't care. I'm not grinding it. I just I play it. I grind a little. I think I've ground maybe. I want to say maybe every boss for an hour, and then did like an hour of chest runs. But, but this this game just I'm excited about it. I'll be playing it with a friend. Um, my Starlink will play this. I have no issues. Um, I think it's better when I join someone else than it is if they join me. Um, but like I said, so far I've, I've been able to play this game without any, any issue. So for anybody, anybody looking at Starlink, I mean, take a seriously look, serious look at it. Um, if you have cable and you have decent speeds, then by all means, you know, maybe you stay with what you have or whatever. But like I said, we've had, we've had Starlink for a week now and every day is better. You know, like I, I think I've rebooted this maybe three times but every time it, it boots it's it's better um it's amazing it's amazing that your satellite granted the speed of light is faster than the speed of you know cable and all that stuff but the latency is amazing like i said i think the highest latency i've had whenever i've run a speed test is like 50 and, and the only time you really have any latency with it is when you're switching from one satellite to the um, and where I live, kind of in the northeast, we we are s s there is satellites everywhere. So I'm excited about this game. So between Biomutant and this game, I'm I'm really looking forward to 2021 and the gaming thing. And then in the spring, maybe Corpunk will be out. No, I don't know. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time. I get like three hours a night, four hours, well, three hours a night, four days a week, um, to play. So, you know, and I, I don't know. Like I said, I, I, my intention is to spend a couple nights, possibly streaming, Biomutant, um, and then maybe making some videos with this one. But I don't want to give storyline. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I just. I use YouTube sometimes to watch games that I'm not interested in playing or that I don't have time to play. You know, like Assassin's Creed, I've, I've watched a couple of my streaming friends play that game just because I, I didn't want to put the time into it. But I've, I've come from the Division, and when this game comes out, I probably will hardly ever play the Division. These devs right here for this game are doing it right they're they're doing it the way it should be um they're listening to the community and, and that that should be rewarded for sure the division stopped listening when actually they stopped listening when they came out with division two you know what i mean it's just but but anyways i just i'm super excited with this game with 
for the bio mutant. I I it just it caught me off guard really. Um and in this game this game here just looks like pure fun. That's all it does. It's just it's it's non stop action. And I I just think it's I don't know. I just think it's it's gritty. That's for sure. It's definitely gritty. But I don't know. I'm just Pretty excited to see how this game turns out and plays out. Trying to figure out which character I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna, I'm gonna solo play, I'm sure, and then I want a character that I can play with a friend. And he's gonna set aside a character so he can play too. But anyways, I just want to kind of highlight these two, and now that I can upload videos, I, I I wanted to put something else up there. So um, I'm extremely excited with 2021 as far as the games go gaming industry goes it's i think it's going in the right direction for 2020 these these two games right here i think are going to be huge for 2021 that's all i got uh, i want you guys to take care hit the like hit subscribe free free to do and hopefully hopefully i can uh Take some time and provide you guys with some with some content that you'll enjoy. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good week.